The unpredictable nature of the ocean makes producing a good surf video far from easy. But with the proper equipment and know-how from your buds at the surf website and media team of Corduroy TV, you'll be well on your way to capturing what's happening in your local beach with the best of them. Coordinate with talented surfers in your area. They'll be the most knowledgeable regarding proper waves, wind, and tide best for bagging a good session. Prepare your gear. When you're at the beach, there's no time to rummage for that missing lens, and there aren't any electrical outlets in the sand. So organizing, cleaning, and charging your equipment the night before is essential. Before we get into the nerdy stuff, don't forget to dress accordingly. When shooting early in the temperate climates, you'd be surprised how cold it can be standing on the beach for hours. If you're in the tropics, lots of water and adequate sun protection are a must if you don't want to get fried. Use a fluid head tripod. Normal photo tripods won't do. When capturing action from far away, you'll need something smooth and stable. Make sure your tripod is level to the horizon. Nothing's worse than having your subject surfing up or downhill. Use a telephoto lens to capture the action. DSLRs with a 1.6 crop come in handy here as they simulate an increase in focal length of all lenses. Take a good hard look at your subject before they get out there and learn their paddling mannerisms and surfing style. It's amazing how surfers can blend in while waiting for waves. Don't get distracted while waiting for a set. Murphy's Law will ensure that you'll miss the shot of the day. Oh, and get shots of the scenery and wide shots of the lineup. Often filmmakers focus solely on the action, but getting other shots adds perspective to your clip. Scratch the previous tip if the break you are filming is considered localized or secret. Keep your surfer in the frame at all times. Try to anticipate turns and errors. The goal is to keep your surfer on the back third of the frame in the direction he's riding horizontally. This becomes exponentially more difficult the closer you are zoomed in. Know your angles. Depending on the type of swell and the break you are shooting at, a little height can improve your shot, while in some cases, a low angle looks better. The trick is to move around and try different angles wisely. Be sure to move quickly and wait until a surfer has finished a wave to ensure you don't miss a shot. Shooting from the water is much harder. When you're first getting into it, use a GoPro or other compact camera with a housing fixed focus, wide angle lens, and slow motion capabilities. Hold the camera steady and learn to align yourself so that you come close to the surfer as he rides by, but not so close that you get hit. Respect the other surfers in the water and don't get in their way. The closer you are to the action, the better in most cases. Download your footage as soon as you get home, religiously, regardless of how tired you are. Chances are tomorrow will be another good day of surf and you don't want to run out the door with full memory cards that have not been backed up. Organization is key Rename your clips with info of the day, subject, and break you were shooting, in case you need that one ride down the line. Before you start your cut, scan through the waves and set aside good takes. Save yourself time by only processing and dealing with the decent waves. Choose a good song that you have rights to that will inspire you to streamline your focus when you start laying down to a timeline. Analyze your footage and figure out what story arc to tell. This will help determine what vibe and visual story you want to convey. From here, it's up to your creativity. A surf montage can be anything from slow and beautiful to fast and flashy. Best of luck from Vimeo and Corduroy TV.